We're going to look at the new approvals feature in BIM 360 Docs. So we access it from the project admin screen. We go to the document management list in the left hand side. Um, and what this will do, it'll just bring up a number of options, which one of them is the approvals. So we go to the reviews, and it allows you first to set up an approval workflow. I've got a number of these already set up, but I'm going to go through the process to, to show you how to set them up. You select create an approval workflow, and it will always base it on a template. And the template will allow you to choose how many steps in the approval workflow that you want. So with one step, it only goes to one person, two, two, and three, three accordingly. So depending on your approval process, you will choose the template which best suits your needs. Once you've chosen one, so I'm going to choose, choose the one step, you go to next, and the dialog box comes up for you to name it. Um, so we're going to call this, uh, so we're going to call this second issue. We can put a description here to say that uh, what the function of the approval is. And then you have to choose an initiator and an approver. Now, in your list of project members, you'll be able to choose anyone from the project list, or you can add people in the uh, members directory if you need to add a different person in. But I'm going to choose my good self, so that would be nice and easy. And I'm also going to be the approver as well. You can allow a number of times in days so that uh, once it's past that date, it will warn you and tell you that your approval time has elapsed and you need to make a decision. And then you can choose how the approved files are itemized when you either give them approval or reject, rejected by what icon they uh, have on them. So we've got a uh, green tick for approved, red cross for rejected, and there's a black tick for approved if you've got to put some comments in there as well. Now, what you can also do is once they are approved, you can copy them to a folder. Now, be mindful in this, because if you choose copy them to a folder, what it will only allow you to do is to use that approval system in that half of the uh, document management environment. You know it's divided into plan files and project files. So if you say move to a folder in project files, this approval process will only be allowed to be used with files that are in that side within project files. And if you say move to a folder within plans, it will only allow you to use this approval process within the plans environment. So if you leave them where they are, it will allow you greater flexibility. So I'm going to not select a folder to move them into. I'm going to say approve them, but it will just stay, so there'll be no action, basically. OK, and any custom notes you can add in. So once you've done that and you're happy with it, you can click on Save. So now we need to switch to the document management environment to allow, enable us to add the files that need to be approved. So we go to the row of squares, we go to document management, So we can now go and find our files that we want to approve. So we've got a whole list here. So let's just choose a few of them. And you just pick on them by ticking the boxes. I'll untick that one. OK, so it's all the 100s to 103s. And then at the top, we go to More, and it says Submit for Review. So we select Submit for a Review. Immediately it has a list of the files, and you can now choose the approval workflow. So ours was second issue. So we choose it, and 
we click on submit and you can see that in the list we have all of the files so we click on the submit button now what will happen is that uh, we want to notify the reviewer which is me so that I will get an email to say that and I can also notify other project members so in other words if I have perhaps someone else that needs to see it perhaps a model manager or coordinator or someone like that I can choose them from the list and they'll get to see the reviewed items as well also I can put a message in there to tell them exactly what the uh, approval process is uh, for so I click on send now what will happen now I will be sent an email and then I'll access that email and that will allow me to progress the process so there's my email it's arrived so I open it and I can view my items and I'm back into my docs environment ready to review the files so it goes directly to the list of files in the review window and I can say start review at the top and then start review so it then has my files which I can go and have a look at so I can open it up look to make sure that uh, everything that I need to be this being to be done has been done and then once I've done that I can then close down the viewing window I've got all my markup and all the other editing options there as well um, and then I can say give it some approval status so there's my list so I've got my approved I've got my rejected so I can say approved on this one and I can go through the process for all of them so I'm going to say this one's approved um, this one I'm going to say approved with comments and it allows me to put a comment in here and say um, we oh. so I'm happy with this one and I'm going to reject that one approve approve and you just keep going down the list until they've all had been dealt with so then we go submit review and then you can put some final notes um, so the final note might be uh, all approved apart from one. so all approved apart from one file and then we submit those okay and then what will happen is these are now all approved and it says yes we've got a list of them and they'll they'll stay in the review so anytime we go into the reviews we can see the list of reviewed files and this review now you can see because we've completed it is closed okay we can switch at any stage back to the document management and we can see the folders but the reviews list is still there and you can see now there's a list of all of the reviews we've done. So the last one that we've done, which was second issue, we can open it up. And that shows us all the files that were in second issue. Okay. And with any of these, so if we were to go back to the reviews, you can see that I had another second issue one with a couple of files in it. And a final issue one so all the reviewed files are in the list and we can at any stage go back and have a look at them and that really is a very good approval process mm -hmm.